So, Saigos, what can I say about them? I got two of them a couple of years ago when I went to an orchid show. Here's the... Let me show you the names of what they are. This is like a... I think it's a brown flower. I'll put the flowers up. So this is one plant that I got at that time. I had got two similar plants. The other one is um, this one. That's got a little blue in it. So they were both doing good. And one decided to go uphill. The other one decided to go downhill. What do I mean by that? So this one was the old episode about it put out um, two new growths. And here it is. They flowered for me. Of course, Zygopetalums. The flowers on this one is amazingly good. And the other one that I said went downhill. If you see here it is. It lost all its leaves. And it just decided to do nothing for me. It tried to put out a new growth. But then it decided to not do anything. And it just stalled. And stalled. Meanwhile, this one kept growing and pushing out its new growth and gave me, like I said, um, two beautiful spikes. And of course, in the case of Psychopetalum, the spikes come out before the plants mature, before the soda bulbs mature. They come from the base, and here it is, it's um, all done blooming. Now, after it bloomed, the older soda bulb lost its bulb, and I realized that this was trying to. Um, th there was a, the oldest wood about, I meant to say, was rotting and I had to take it out. And um, the other sort of bulbs started slowly, the leaves started turning brown and it fell. So now I have this plant like I'm carefully watching. I'm being careful not to water too much because I, I want the new root, new growth to put out new roots and take off. Meanwhile, what's the story with this one? It hasn't done anything. It's been like this for more than a year. And um, there's three soda bulbs, smallest, middle, and the oldest one. That means oldest one means the newer one is in the middle over here and the newest growth over here. And with that, it ended. Nothing grew after that. So I didn't throw it out. I kept it on the dry side. And um, of course, a year later, I said this bloom for me. This one still stalled and stalled and stalled. And the soda bulbs are getting dry. But then I noticed something. And here is something. A new growth. But how can that be? Because the soda bulb is over here and this little one is over here. So do the new growth come from the roots? Because there is no soda bulb over here. Like I said, all the soda bulbs are over there. But there's nothing else in this part. So fingers crossed. I'm guessing this one is starting to grow. I hope it's a new growth because I do love this plant and its flowers really. It's that blue and brown colored psychopetalum if I'm not wrong. Um, so keeping an eye on it, watching, i let you know how it went. I know it could be very tricky when it's so small because I had to be careful not to make um, over water and cause rotting. So this one is staying in my little, I have a little greenhouse, a mini greenhouse. I'm going to put it in there with, um, more, of course, keep the humidity high and try to water as little as possible till this one gets bigger. And that's what I'm hoping. Oh, sorry for my dog. And this one, because the neighbors are doing some renovation on their house and um, they're drilling and who knows what they're doing. It's causing a ruckus outside, so he hates that. So anyway, so this one's soda bulb is brown. 
it's not mushy it's not rotting so i have it on the drier side i want to keep uh, it like that till i see the new roots forming and then hopefully it, this one won't rot see saigo perlams are like people some say it's a little fussy if you can get them to grow right then you have it but um if you know what what the right thing is you're lucky otherwise um for me anyway i'm talking about for myself or so we'll see i have it um you know, growing in um under under grow lights and um not the red one the white led spectrum grow light so it's not as um i don't know the intensity of the light is not as bad as the one with the red one so it's not and getting too much intense light it's just hanging in there and of course this one is also under the white led lights um but right now i have it in a mini um humidity tray with the lids closed and slightly vented to get the air out and occasionally i open the um, tray the top of the tray to let the um, air in and i have the fan going so it'll circulate the air inside and um, not cause mold or anything like that so, so occasionally like day and night uh, morning in the morning and in the evening i open the humidity tray to let the air circulate in there and of course i keep the humidity high i don't have a anything to measure the humidity level in the in there so i don't know but i i try to keep it high so We'll see how like I'll keep you posted on how it goes. So that's the story with my Zygo.